the Windy Castle Medieval Guild. Guild, guild. Sorry, sorry. not club guild. <laughs> club is something you beat somebody with, and they're going to beat me with that if I don't say that. So, medieval guild. Yeah, because club just didn't sound right when no. you were okay with the word medieval. So okay, sounds good. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, though. But don't they club animals when they eat them back then? What are you a savage? <laughs> I don't know. Just say it. Oh, Spears. Oh. Yeah, just medieval clubs. does not mean savage. That's Cro-Magnon. That's a completely oh. different period. Oh, I thought they used clubs too. Okay, oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, so, so why don't you maybe some tell us a little bit about the medieval, Windy Castle Medieval Guild. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mitch! Um, we have a medieval fair that we put on. Um, this will be our third year. Um, we are moving locations this year to the Fort Wupa Frontier Town, uh, out by Sterling. Uh, yeah, pretty much halfway between Lethbridge and Sterling, uh, on Highway 4. You know, when, you're, when you hit Township Road 74, you found us. Mm -hmm. Can't miss us, literally on the corner. All right. A new venue from last year, last mm -hmm. year at the... Um, Coyote Flats Painting. You're right. Yeah. Coyote Flats it was, yeah. 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 And and the, how did how did they the whole event go last year? It we uh, we had scaled it down last year. Yeah. Um, we ended up as a guild to be low on guild members, and so we really needed to pare back because there's just so much that uh, two people who require sleep and the occasional <laughs> um, food sustenance. So, yeah, um, that we do. So we we pared it back last year. Uh, so it was not as large as the first year. Mm -hmm. uh, we went one day instead of two, and it was well received. Uh, there were actually people that came up on the Sunday Looking and for us. were disappointed that we were not running for, for two days. But we've listened to um, criticism, feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, we always listen to everything people send us on, on Facebook. We, uh, we do our best to, to respond to that. And we are going back up to two days this year. Okay. Um, started planning a lot earlier, just in case we didn't get more people on the uh, the board for the guild, which we have. We've, we've got a couple more people on the board. We could use a few more. We could use uh, volunteers. That's a connection we've made with Volunteer Lethbridge is to get more volunteers to make this a bigger, better event this year. Yes. Okay, nice, yeah. So if you're into uh, the whole medieval costume, the whole role play thing yeah you'll have a blast and get a hold of and if you just want to watch those get weirdos in <laughs> yeah. or, or that too garb. or if you have an interest in history it's like how the heck did they make bread the the medieval club that comes out they've been amazing they've been with us uh, since the start they, and they're a really active group in Lethbridge Leth Lethbridge group uh, I don't know even if Lethbridge realizes this but the Lethbridge medieval club is well respected and well known all across Alberta so she can call it a club, but I can't. No, that's, that's <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's I know. A completely different group. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm just kidding. Medieval club I'm just kidding. Is a separate group. Okay, cool. We are the Windy Castle Medieval Guild, <laughs> who invites the Lethbridge Medieval yeah. Club. Don't get us mixed up. We are completely different. They do some amazing, really uh -huh. detailed work. Um, if you're around the park, come um, Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Nikoyuko. Yeah, in front of the Nikoyuko, the, the green space out there, you'll often see a bunch of knights whacking, whacking each, each other. other. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's them. That's them. They've got uh, everything from sword fighting to armor making to uh, dance, classes. dance classes. How did they make their clothing? Actual weavers. Mm -hmm. they've, they're really uh, weavers and spinners, yeah. They, they do a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, theoretically brewing is, is based on medieval uh -huh. uh, brewing methods, and, and those are a couple of members of the Medieval Club. Okay. So okay. They, they really get into the history, really get into sharing that with the community. Nice, nice. So for somebody new to this type of thing, what happens at the Medieval Fair, like mm -hmm. happened at last year at your fair? What goes on? Last year we had the Medieval Club come out mm -hmm. and uh, do some one-on-one -on -one, uh, fighting, night fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, More than just demonstrations, they actually had a little bit of a tourney. Yeah. We had uh, crafts for the kids to mm -hmm. do. Um, we had the aerial acrobats. The aerial acrobatics from uh, the U of L. They came out and did some very beautiful displays for us. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, food, archery, 
Oh, archery. The archery, archery. tag. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely had lots of people playing yeah. the archery tag. Yeah, go to our website. You'll see some of the photos of, of the people that came. And we've got some precious photos of the, uh, the, the members of the medieval club in partial armor playing <laughs> archery tag with these boffer, art, like boffer arrows and these big... That was, it was hilarious. Right on. That would be... Yeah, it'd be good to see. So if you aren't sure of what to expect, go on the website. You'll mm -hmm. be able to see photos and, you know, even probably a bit of a description of mm -hmm. kind of what is involved in that. So this year, Medieval Fair coming up yes. is when? What When do you have that planned for? July 20th and 21st um, this year, 9 to 5. And then the feast will be 6 to 9. 6 to 9 on the Saturday? Um, on the Saturday. The, the feast is Saturday. Saturday. Okay. So we, we're still nailing details mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Got to find out um, who can come, who can't come, where we're going to get the food from. Are we going to, you know, roast a pig on site? Are we going to have food catered? Uh, all of that stuff's still in the air. Our board hasn't decided yet. So if you want to be in on some of those decisions, give us a call. Volunteer. <laughs> volunteer. If you want to get involved in something fun that is ongoing every year and that. Yeah. Um, Another thing that was extremely thing. popular in the first year was uh, the jousters. jousters. We had mm -hmm. um, four jousters come up, mm -hmm. and and their ground crew, Tilt and Lance Cavalry, Tilt and Lance Cavalry, and uh, we're yeah. hoping for them to return this we're, year. We're we're doing some fundraising. We're doing some sponsorship to uh, to try to make sure that we get the jousters coming back this year, right. because. They were amazing. They were amazing. They were a lot of fun to be with. They had they set up their tents alongside the the medieval club, and we had this great medieval village going on. Uh, lots of interaction mm -hmm. with everybody that came by. Uh, unicorns this year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if you're unsure, we want to keep secret, but <laughs> all I'll say is unicorns. <laughs> if you're not sure what jousting is, just watch Monty Python's Holy Grail, and it's that type of thing. And yeah. Except there's okay. actual horses. There's yeah, not, yeah, the coconut, yeah. Well, there may yeah. be a few coconuts. I, I can't okay. guarantee there won't be coconuts. Um, actually, I'm bringing a set of coconuts. Got them on a string. Um, but, uh, yeah, there'll be horses, too. Oh, there'll be horses. But they won't be jumping around with no arms and no legs or anything like that. Well, maybe. Not, maybe. Not the horses. <laughs> not the horses. people, maybe. I so, can't guarantee, you know, when, with the sword fighting, when that begins, mm -hmm. we will have first aid on site. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So if you want like a good rough battle, come and watch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. hopefully we're going to be looking at also incorporating some, some workshops this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the okay. first year, the Medieval Club, they put on a few small workshops uh, like um, sword fighting. Mm -hmm. Some of the boys was, would teach some of the kids to, to sword okay. fight. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to have more of that. Uh, we've got some people interested in bringing in other um, like uh, crafts crafting and, and, and baking and nice. etc. Okay, good. So hopefully we'll be able to incorporate some workshops into into people's visit. Good, that's awesome. So the Medieval Fair isn't the only event that you have going on, is no, it? No, no, no. Like I said, no. we have to fundraise mm -hmm. because nothing happens without mm -hmm. an army of volunteers and a whole bunch of cash. And none of us are independently wealthy. Right. We don't have anybody on the board who's independently wealthy, although we are looking. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the spot the <laughs> There you go. There we you we go. are looking for sponsors. We are looking for um, donations. Mm -hmm. But we are always uh, working our butts off with fundraisers. And we have a couple upcoming. Did you want to talk yeah, about the absolutely. next one? Uh, February 16th, we have the Epic 2 coming up. Uh, it, will uh, it is a multi-table D&D event. Uh, last time we had 22 people fighting a Dracolich. This time it is the Isle of Dread. Mm. There will be pirates, there will be water, there will be an island, and there will be dinosaurs. And for those people that don't know what D&D is, maybe you could explain what that is for those viewers that don't know. Oh. It's uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it is a role-playing game, so if you have any interest in that, come down and uh, we will... Uh, show you what to do and teach you. Yeah, no ru no experience is necessary. Everybody will teach you anything you need to know. The characters that we play with, the character that you would take on as part of your persona during this adventure, they'll pr they're pre-generated, so everything you could possibly need is ready for you um, at the get-go. And our, our DMs have been uh, DMing for quite some time. They're creative people, a lot of them 
uh, right here in the community, there's a lot of D&D going on in this community. There's a lot of D&D, just, I, I don't even know all of the spaces, but I know the library has D&D sessions, Kapow has D&D sessions, Around um, table. a round table has D&D sessions. So D&D has been around for a long time. It's not the only role-playing mm -hmm. game out there, and uh, certainly there's other groups that are doing uh, um, other role plays, but this is the one that we're focusing on because it is um, a medieval fantasy theme, and that fits in with right. what we want to do for medieval fair. Right. So the last one that you did, the last epic D&D, mm -hmm. &D, mm -hmm. uh, where did the members come from? Like, were they just localized here? Or oh, we had people from Calgary come yeah? in. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This. Yeah, and nice. Uh, we've already had them contacting us, asking us when we're doing it again. Yes. February 16th. So February 16th. And is there a venue for that? That has been... There so is a 98% chance it will be in the same location. Okay. Um, but that 2% chance that it won't be is why you won't see mm -hmm. any posters out yet. Okay. So as soon as it Fair becomes 100%, we'll make that, uh, that knowledge available. Um, that will be available on our website. Information will be available on the website. The characters, as last time, will be available on our website, which is very simple, windycastle.com. Dot com, right? We didn't go with dot ca. Why didn't we? We're in Canada. Why didn't we go with dot ca? Ask Stacy. Okay. We have dot com. <coughs> but, uh, um, <laughs> well, I just distracted myself. She Characters just distracted herself. Right. <laughs> there you go. ADD kid, who knew? <laughs> Squirrel! That's a shiny umbrella. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It is. <laughs> we, may, we, we might have to get the shiny stuff out of here for Juanita. She she gets distracted. Yeah, that's um, why Mitch keeps me Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, it's all good. Um, so, so they came from all over mm. in that. Um, what about for the fair? Like, how far did they come for the medieval fair that last year as well? Was that localized, or did uh, people come from? A, well, last year the farthest places? was Edmonton, wasn't was it? it? Okay. Yeah, Millerville, and people came from there. Okay. From the Edmonton travels. Yeah, there were some we, Calgary. We've yeah, we've been contacted by a number of um, vendors, performers, nice. etc. That are have not been to our fair before, but heard about us and and are wanting to come out this year. So. Even if you've been to year one, year two, you're going to still see something mm -hmm. different year three. <laughs> different location. Now, we have to say different location. Can we talk about the location a little bit? Sure. Okay. Of course. Um, <laughs> everybody <laughs> knows Fort Whoop Up. Everybody knows Fort Whoop Up. If you're from Lethbridge, if you haven't been to Fort Whoop Up, you really should go. Uh, a couple years back, the city took over the running of that area, and the society that had been um, doing it up to that point have uh, taken the artifacts that they have collected over the years and are starting a, uh, a, a museum out there. A museum on the property that we're going to be sitting at. So not only are you going to be getting the Windy Castle Medieval Fair, but you're going to mm. be getting the beginnings of, the first year of, the sneak previews of the Fort Whoop Up Frontier, Frontier, Frontier Town. Town. So nice. those are beginning as well. Very so good. there's like hundreds and hundreds, like a thousands of artifacts that are going to be going mm -hmm. into that site as well, and people are going to have access to those as well. Nice. Yeah. That's very good. That's really neat. And Lethbridge needs something like that and more of that type of thing, and that's why with Windy Castle even, mm -hmm. you know, something to generate people to Lethbridge, and, you know, obviously it is far-reaching where mm -hmm. you know, Edmonton and wherever oh, else yeah. can come, so that's good. And it's good that you guys are, are yeah. getting these things going. So you have the Epic coming up. Yes. But you also have... Another event, a murder mystery, isn't it, coming up? Why, yes, we do. Yeah. Fun issue. Let's so talk fast. about that. This one has no medieval theme whatsoever. No. 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 All right. No. So. No. But there is murder. There is murder. And that's medieval. Uh, yeah, that's, no, that's that just is. human. No. <laughs> well, yeah. But medieval was barbarian. So. <laughs> it's barbaric. It's not the same thing. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. So tell us a little bit about that. Where, where, when... Well, murder under the big top circus theme it is uh april 13th and it'll be at westminster hall ever wanted to be a circus freak ever wanted to run away and join the circus come join us. come join this one so it might be a little dangerous somebody is going to die i will tell you that right now that's not a spoiler no no that's no, not that's a spoiler. A fact. somebody's gonna die that is a fact so <laughs> everybody dress as a clown 
No, no, no. And no, because everybody hates to clowns. hates no, clowns, so they're gonna kill clowns. No, so one no, clown no, no, will no. die. No, no. <laughs> Don't give away. No. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Sorry. I like clowns. Oh, okay. She likes clowns. Like Not clowns. everybody likes clowns. <laughs> You're a clownist. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, clowns are creepy. They That's are what everybody not, says. No, That's what everybody says. Clowns are creepy. Mr. Puddles. Mr. Puddles is not oh. creepy. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. See, see, <laughs> I, he's but, agreeing with. But, me. but you see, they're the only they're only people that can disguise their face and entertain kids, and that's not good. <laughs> I'm just no way. And anyway, it's coming from the well, entertainer in the room. Hey, there you go. There you go. What about what about? Um, yeah, tell that to Barney. Okay, Barney, Barney wasn't a clown. Creepy, Barney wasn't a clown. Nobody hit his face and entertained children. No, true enough. True that enough. was true creepy. enough. True enough. True enough. Sorry, not a Barney fan. What? But you see, there's movies like It and that, which you know the clown. Oh yeah, there know, is a creep factor right? to, but to the clowns. clowns. You see, but and it's always the clown. About, okay, okay. Our murder mystery is not about no the clowns. clowns. No clowns, even though it's under the big tent. Oh, there will be clowns. Yeah, we're actually planning on um, doing. We're, we're, we love messing with you. We just one of the things that we've always wanted to do. The whole reason we started this guild and started the fair and do all of the fundraising in the way that we do is because we want people to have fun. That was the theme mm -hmm. for year one. Year one is it on the back? It is. Have more fun. Year number one, have more fun. The theme for for num year number two. Dream big. Dream big, which we dreamed big, but we delivered the small because that was as big as we could go that year. But we still dream big, so we're going even bigger. But there's a new theme for, the for year three. Believe. Believe. Because we believe. Okay, okay. We believe that Good. this can happen. Because well, it's not just about us. It's not... I want to have a fair, so I'm making a mm -hmm, fair. Mm -hmm, right. We want to make something for the community. We want to make something for Lathbridge that people are going to want to come to, that is going to be accessible to families. I mean, we have always and will always fundraise so that children 10 and under can come to the fair for free. Nice. Yeah. We want that to be a family thing that families don't break the bank yeah. trying to take their kids to. We will always give out tickets. Yeah. Entire families can come for free. We give out tickets to the library every year. That's There's cute. other organizations that can just submit to us saying, hey, can we get some tickets? And we will put you on our website. We will give you some free tickets because we would we want families to yeah. be able to have this, this entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. But and we want to bring it to such a yeah. quality that yeah. we also need those vendors. We need the sponsors. Yeah. We need the people Volunteers. to yeah. volunteer. We need other people to dream big with right, us. We need right. other people to have more fun. We need other people to believe yeah, and that's, that this can grow and be something amazing. that gives back to the community. Yeah, and that's great. And that's, you know, why we wanted to get you on, you know, to connect with the community that way because we don't have enough stuff for families no, to do, true. really. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. people are always saying, oh, there's nothing to do in Lethbridge. There is a lot to do. You have to find it in a lot of ways, right? Yeah. And so and that's that important. That said, right? that said, um, Tourism Lethbridge is really working hard mm -hmm. to try to connect everything that's going mm -hmm. on in Lethbridge. So if anybody really wants to know what's going on in Lethbridge, what's going mm -hmm. on around Lethbridge, don't forget to check them out. Right. They're really working hard to make that a resource. And if you've got something going on in Lethbridge, contact them. Let them know. Because we need a hub. We need a place where we can go and go, what's going on on Thursday night? Well, yeah. you can go on down to Kapow and you know, play D&D &D in their living village. They're doing yeah. a living village. Really? They're creating it brand new every every nice. week, and everything you do is impacting the storyline yeah, and the history really of the cool. village. It's really a unique thing, and you would never find that mm -hmm. if you didn't happen to know somebody who knew. Mm -hmm. Those kind nice. of things. We want awesome. a center for it, and you, it might as well be Tourism Lethbridge because they've got the funds to make it happen. There you go. Really, and they've got That's the support right. to make it happen. So let's do it. Yeah, right on. You're listening live and watching live to Feel the Beat with DJB here on Jess FM. I have Michelle and Juanita from the Windy Castle Medieval Guild. Guild. <laughs> Guild. 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 There. I said it. Uh, appreciate, them appreciate them joining me, joining us in the studio this morning. And that, hopefully you're watching, tuning in to Jess FM as always. As always. Download our app on your smartphone. Go on our website, jessfm.ca. You'll see all kinds of great videos, shows that we have on here. So make sure you check that out. So we're going to uh, continue a little bit of conversation here with these two ladies. What made you two 
decide to get into the whole medieval thing. I wanted to take a hay bale maze to Brooks Medieval Fair that they have out in August. And a coworker of mine said, well, why don't you do the whole fair? And I said, well, how hard could that be? Really? <laughs> and then sitting around the table playing D&D, a &D, mm -hmm. um, friend of yours said to me, hey, Mitch wants to do this. And I said, here's my phone number. Have her call me. Have her call me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. That, it's her fault. Yes. I blame you. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's all my fault. Yeah. There so in, in 15, 20 years, when we are able to purchase our own property and start building our own castle, because there's the gold people, um, it's still your fault. There you go. Hey, Bill Mays. You're, you're, the, whole, you're Bill the whole Mays. instigator of the whole thing, Michelle. Yep. Yep. And last year we had a Hey, Bill Mays. It was small. It was, it was small. It was, but it was there. Yeah. Like Barbie. You had Barbie. to crawl through it? Barbie. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right on. We, we still dream big. It's getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. We're working on making a Hey, Bill Mays, like oh. an actual Bill Mays. So basically, wow. with, with the whole medieval costume, role-playing thing, you kind of have to be a bit of a performer, don't you? In you don't way. have to be, no. No. Okay. It okay, helps. Good. Yeah, it helps. It helps. <laughs> My point exactly. You don't have to be. Some people think that you do because you're no. role-playing or whatever, right? You just no. have to enjoy having fun. Fun. Right? Well, yeah, you have to enjoy it. Like, I'm sure there are people in the medieval club who have, like, incredible armor, who spend hundreds of dollars on shiny swords and, and, and they spend hours and hours and hours building these intricate costumes. Not performers. Not performers. Historians. And if you want to get into it really cheap, just go buy a catcher's Beautiful. catcher's mask and a catcher's uh, catcher's um, chest protector and you're you can go sword fight. <laughs> I just thought it, I just back. thought I'd throw that out there. Never turn your back. <laughs> there you go. I just thought I'd throw that out there. You could you know the gladiator from you know Anyway, <laughs> uh, whole whole different TV show, whole different guild, I'm sure, right? So yeah, there you go. But All anyway. right. So let's. Yeah, you don't have to be a performer. No, you don't. To want to get in on the fun. Right. And there's going to be vendors there, so you you can come. You don't have to come in costume. Nobody mm -hmm. ever has mm -hmm. to come in costume. You only come in costume if you want to. And you don't even have to be like I'm wearing an awesome costume or I'm wearing nothing. You can wear a sword belt. Wearing nothing, that's a whole different guild, too. Yeah, so. that is, that's, that's actually <laughs> so just, down the whole So, way. so, yeah, you just, yeah. <laughs> a few so, years down the road. So, we'll do a different <laughs> show about that guild another time. Yeah, no, 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 I don't think <laughs> okay. Nobody wants okay. to see that. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. Dif that's not what I meant, and you know it. Well, Regular civilian clothes, so, okay. completely accepted. Please. Com please, please wear clothes. Okay, please. there you go. Please, I beg you. Or, or you can wear, you know, like. Loincloth. It's going to be a hot summer. You could wear a loincloth. Cover the essentials. But if it's windy, you know you might want to <laughs> second. You might want to second guess that decision. Well, I don't know. This place might not be as windy, It'll be windy. As, as last year. <laughs> It'll be windy. It's still Southern Alberta is windy. Yeah, but, it's still cold. But hey, you know what? It's windy. We barely had any snow, and that's a good thing, right? Because no, wind. it's going to be even drier. No, it's not. No, we no, it's not. want to be able to have the blacksmith okay. there yes. so you can see medieval smithing. Oh. We want to be able to have the, the fires right. there so you can see the medieval cooking. We want we want some rain, so everybody pray for rain. Just a little bit of rain. Okay, if you don't like snow, that's good. Pray for rain, warm up, a little rain, because we do need that. So they're going to have cooking on site, so bring your favorite roadkill and put it on the skewer and just spin it on the fire. I don't think that's how it goes. Sure, it's true. Okay. Yeah, road Do kill, they get to kill their own Road food? kill vehicles. Right, but they you get to kill their own the food. They can kill their own food, though, can't they, and cook it right there? It's a farm, but you're not <laughs> supposed to kill their animals. Okay, yeah. that's, the what goats are off that's why I said. That's why I said they could bring road kill. The goats are off limit, the okay. ponies are off limit, and the Clydesdales would probably stomp on you, so just don't do it. Yeah, you won't, you won't do, do it. it. Yeah. Actually, the, the Clydesdales are the most adorable creatures. Oh, my goodness. They're like puppies. They follow you around. Yeah, they do. They, they do. do. They're very, very. We will have carriage rides. There will be carriage rides. We have had carriage rides for the first two years. We will have carriage rides for this year. Nice, as well. nice. So you can hop on, and uh, I don't know whether we're charging for that. We oh, didn't yet. in the past. Yeah. It's we've done it by donation. So okay. um, usually there's some sort of uh, again we're, we're trying to raise money to run the fair, and yet during the fair we're going to have fundraising for something okay. else in the community. We, we always want to give back. Right. To the community. 
Yeah, and that's the name of the game, right? Do. Yeah, it's connecting everyone with that and giving back is good. Yeah, so we're still looking for that uh, source that we'll donate to. But, uh, so. Source that will donate? So we need a source that will donate. <laughs> there you go. No, I mean a, a source in the community. Yes, that I know. Has I a know. need that we can. That's what we need. That's we what need. you need. So if there's somebody out in the community that wants to partner up with us, there you go. And you're looking for some fundraising, then let's see what we can do. We can there do some go. advertising with you. Um, Coney Bear. Has anybody heard of the Coney Bear? No. Coney Bear is a brand new store here in Lethbridge. It's an old-fashioned mercantile. So we're going to be doing some for maybe one of oh. our events. Okay. We're going to be okay. doing some cross promotion with them, so that they they're in a historic building. So even though they're open right now, they don't have their sign out because it's a historic building. So they have to get permits Wh and. Which building is that? Is there, um, it's down? right across yeah. the street from the Multicultural Center on Sixth. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. building. Yeah. Right on yeah, the corner. Yeah. For sure. There. Nice. Nice. Right on That's the corner. Awesome. Yeah. There. Cool. It's awesome. Um, right. And the people in, her, in there are amazing. She's also very locally minded. Nice. So uh, you're going to get local artisans in there. You're going to get local produce in there. You're going to get local, um, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> saucy ladies. It's my new source for saucy ladies. <laughs> 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 and, and in the springtime, they're going to have heritage seeds. They're going to have farm implements. Okay. They really want to recreate that old style mercantile nice. field. And they do have, upstairs in this heritage building, a couple of heritage restored rooms that you can actually rent for a small events. Okay, nice. That's really good to know. Excellent. All about may, community. Maybe we'll have to have her on the show to promote her business. Maybe too. you should go see her. I will Wait go see her. her. I will there. go see her and check that out. That's awesome. <laughs> and that way we can connect the community to that store because that would be a really good thing. Because everybody watches Jess FM. I mean, seriously. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't be, there, SFM, be there, be square, you know? Seriously. <laughs> um, so let's let's repeat those dates and those events for all the watchers and listeners out there. First of all, the Epic is when? February 16th. And location to be determined. Location to be determined only because Legal location to be determined, legalities. But it is happening regardless. Check the website. Check the website. There will be updates. And the website yeah. is? WindyCastle.com. Okay, WindyCastle.com. Yeah. Oh, and it's right after Valentine's Day. So quite frankly, your girlfriend doesn't want roses. She wants swords. She wants a, she wants a double-headed axe, and she wants to go beat up some orcs. And, and beat so, you with it if you don't give her flowers. So this is <laughs> the date night. To the, like, the so date if you night didn't get flowers, you can beat up You get your head chopped off, and yeah. then there you go. Home sorts. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the murder mystery under the big top where mm -hmm. somebody, a lion tamer, will probably get killed then instead of a clown. We're not giving anyone Maybe it's away. a trapeze artist. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's the strong man. Maybe it's the, uh, the ring, maybe ring, ring announcer. Maybe the strong man. Yes. Maybe it's the ringmaster. Maybe it's the ringmaster. Or maybe he done it. Maybe he did. Yes. Anyhow, when is that? Uh, April... April 13th. Is there a location for that? Westminster Hall. Westminster Hall? Okay. And that is above... The Westminster the Pool. Well, yeah, Westminster Pool. That's right. And the Medieval Fair this year is where and when again? It will be at the Fort Whoopup Frontier Town, July 20th and 21st. All right. Frontier Town is halfway, roughly, between Sterling and Lethbridge on Highway 4 at Township Road 74. Okay, so check that out. You'll be able to go on the website, as I said, check out their website. Mm -hmm. You'll get all the details, all the instructions and that from that. I want to thank these two ladies from the Medieval Cult Guild. 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 Cult Cult Guild. <laughs> um, Guild for coming in today <laughs> on Feel the Beat with DJB. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to Jess FM. As always, we appreciate it. Make sure you go on our website, jessfm.ca, check out all the shows that we have, and you'll be able to tune into your favorite one. Download the app on your smartphone. You'll be able to listen and watch wherever you are. So if you're driving your car, you can watch. No! Oh, no just kidding. Just Dude. kidding. Just kidding. Distracted driving is not good. DJ. Park, park, and then watch. How does that sound? All right. Thank you for tuning in to Feel the Beat with DJ B. Have fun. Be kind to each other. This is DJB out.